And the last new subject is digitization. What is the situation here? Well, not everything can be digitized, but everything that can be digitized will be digitized. Jeff Immelt described this quite well once. From the point of view of a typical industrial company, he said, if you went to bed last night as an industrial company, you're going to wake up this morning as a software and analytics company. It's maybe a bit exaggerated, but it shows you the way we're going. Now, where are we right now? B2C, business to consumers. Consumer oriented digitization, that's an American game. The game is over. It's an American playing field. We're not going to be able to do anything against the Googles and Facebooks of this world. But in terms of B2B, the situation is very different. Why? Well, first of all, because we're talking here about niche markets. If there's a market that's one billion, it's not interesting for Apple. They do 15 billion a month in revenues. La uh, yesterday I was reading about the head of Brother, Japanese company. They do eight billion revenues. He said, I don't even look at a market worth 100 million. I can't deal with 100 million markets worth 100 million. We have to focus on big markets that uh, are worth at least a billion or something like that. So industrial processes are much more complex than consumer processes. Recently, I went to a company called Deutz, looked at their diesel engine production. Uh, they have more than 200,000 parts, 2,000 parts, and they have to be exactly at the right spot at the right time. It, if you go to some other companies, uh, Maybe it doesn't uh, make a difference if the part company arrives an hour or a day late, but there it makes a huge difference. And for that, you need immense know-how, and this know-how is not available in the market. So it means that you can't digitize if you don't know the details of these industrial processes. You can maybe acquire that know-how if you do an acquisition, because the know-how is basically in the minds of the employees, and this means on the other hand, that German, German-speaking hidden champions are leaders in B2B digitization, and the barriers to entry are so high that they won't lose these advantages too quickly. Now, let me give you an example here. It might surprise some of you. Autonomous driving. It is a major forward-looking pioneering area since 2010. From 2010 up until and including July 2017, a total of 5,839 patents were registered the world over. And 52% are from Germany. Tesla is not even amongst the top 10. Google, they're number nine in the list of the top 10. If you look at suppliers, the number there is even 76%. 76% of patents in this area are from Germany.